Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be just another monthly favourites video. So this month is the December month. I'm actually doing this video in collaboration with another YouTuber who is who happens to be a good friend of mine from work and from when I went to school with her. Her YouTube name is Winnie J, however her real name is Juanita and I will link her um, YouTube account in the description box below. She's not so much a beauty um, guru YouTuber, how she does lots of vlogging and she does more like lifestyle YouTubing instead of more beauty. So if you're interested in more vlogs and more lifestyle vlogging, then definitely go check her out. She's amazing. Okay, so now let's just get on to the video. So this product was featured, I think, in my October favourite video. However, it's now sneaked back into my December favourites because I have um, started reusing it again. It's the Inglot um, Freedom System Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it's just got like a burgundy colour, a brown colour and a creamy kind of colour. I just love these because they are super pigmented, they're easy to blend um, and they're quite affordable even though they're a higher end brand. I'm actually wearing um, them at the moment except for the pink um, shade which I'll talk about later in the video. My next favourite is something I haven't actually talked about in my channel, I don't think just yet, and that's the Australis Strobe Lights palette. It just comes with three different um, shade highlights, however my favourite one is this, oh no, it's this um, white colour just here. I've got it on right now and I'm just really really loving it because it's one of the only highlighters that I've found that actually suits my pale skin. It's not overly glittery although it does have some glitter particles in it however it just gives a nice natural kind of glow however you can build it up to however you want it to be and it is also super affordable as well. Also this was a limited edition palette after this was sold out you just have to buy um, all of them separately if you like them. My next favourite of the month is the Astralis Banana Powder. I think I feature this in every single one of my monthly favourites video because I just love it so so much. It colour corrects any sort of redness, it goes on so smoothly, it sharpens my contour, it brightens my under eyes, um, it covers up any sort of dark circles underneath my eyes. It's super affordable, it lasts you a long time. Did I mention it's highly pigmented? Um, therefore you don't need that much so it lasts quite a while. It just gives you your face life so say if you're feeling quite dull one day just put this as your highlight and you will feel more like lively and it will make your face look more healthy as well. So that's why I like that one. So this little beauty is what I have on my um, lids at the moment. It's the Gilded Cage Revelation Eyeshadow that I actually received in this month's Bella Box. Um, I just really love it because it's just super, super creamy. It actually says what it does. Uh, it actually does what it says it will do because um, it claims that it will do 14 hours of crease proof wear and that is true, like that's what it happens and you don't even need to set it with um, another eyeshadow over the top, it just lasts anyway. It's also super super easy to blend and it's just, it, they come in really really nice colours. I personally wouldn't buy this by itself because they are $38 for one of these, however I only pay $15 for one Bella box so I think that that was really good value for money and I just really really like this product this month. Another favourite of mine this month um, is something that I did receive in my Bella box once again and that's the Pure Pore Pore Ointment in the pa um, flavour Passion Fruit. I was slightly disappointment, uh, disappointed that I didn't get like a watermelon flavour or a strawberry flavoured or grape flavoured because um, I don't really, I'm not particularly keen on Pore Pore, sorry not Pore Pore, Passion Fruit however this still smelled really really nice and it was really really soothing on the skin. Um, as you can see I have used um, quite a bit of it so far and I've only had it for about two weeks um, because I just use it all the time um, especially before putting on a matte lipstick it just makes your skin really like your lips skin really really nice and it doesn't um, like it gets rid of all those flakes before you put on a matte lipstick and it is super for affordable it's think it's like $4.95 from Priceline Another favourite of mine is something that I'm actually wearing once again and that's the Too Faced um, Gingerbread um, bronzer that I got in my Gingerbread Cookie Palette of the Grand Hotel Cafe um, Christmas set. 
I just really, really like it because it just gives you a nice um, bronze, especially for pale skin. I think it suits pale skin really, really, really well. Um, and it also has a little tiny bit of a shimmer, so it doesn't give you an over amount of glitter, but it does give you a nice natural sort of um, healthy glow to your face as well. Also, it is cool toned as well, so it doesn't show up orange on your skin, which is something that I find really, really important in a bronzer for pale skin as well. So this is like the perfect um, higher end bronzer for pale skin. Another favorite of mine is some um, is another Inglot product, and that's the Inglot Makeup Fixer. I have been loving this product so much because it is summer here in Australia, and I've been sweating like crazy. So this makeup fixer definitely helps your makeup stay in place and doesn't um, like rub off onto your clothes either. Um, and it also just provides a nice film across your makeup to just let it last all day long. Once again, Australis Matchmaker Lightning Drops is in my monthly favourites because I don't know where I would be without these lightning drops. Um, they are much more affordable than the Body Shop ones. They're basically the exact same thing. Um, they are a thicker consistency than the Body Shop ones. However, since I am so pale, these have basically saved my life from looking orange all the time. So, um, I just, I think I will always be loving these Matchmaker Drops. Um, another monthly favourite of mine, I don't have it on me right now at the moment because it is in the bathroom, but that's actually the Q the Kyushi stem cell cream, like stem cell cream that I received in this month's last have it. What I've really, really loved about this cream, although I don't believe um, the whole, um, oh, stem cells, it will change your skin. Um, I don't believe that that will do that however I have noticed that my skin has become a lot more softer probably because of the vitamin C that's in the cream however I've been really loving the Kyushi stem cell cream I received in this month's last habit box or bag more so so and my final um product that I've been absolutely loving this month is the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. I did receive the sample size of this in my November Bella Box, however I did purchase the full sized product of it um, because I've just absolutely been loving this product so 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 much because it does it shrinks my pores and it also helps reduce acne scarring and it helps reduce any sort of acne I already have on my face so it's just a purifying clay mask um probably the best one I've ever used in my life um it is a Korean beauty brand so um I've always heard that Korean beauty brands um have like the best skincare and I can safely um and honestly vouch that this is the best clay mask I've ever used. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys w liked watching what I've been loving in the month of December. Also, don't forget to check out uh, check out um, Winita on her YouTube channel. Her username is Winnie J. However, I will link her account in the description box below so you can check out her channel as well. Um, also, don't forget she's more of a lifestyle blogger instead of a beauty blogger. So then you can um, see her channel and you can get more of a range and variety of videos. So she does really good story time videos. She does um, like style, like how to style clothes videos um, and just general vlogs in general. Um, she did go to I think Perth recently. So she does have a whole bunch of vlogs of her Perth trip as well. Hope you guys are having a great New Year's and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.